It's back, the Power Five. I am, of course, the appropriately named Brian Power, and each and every day here on Wager Talk TV, I'll be bringing you five free plays. It's just that simple. For today's show, I've got to play on the Hall of Fame game, so stay tuned for that. Just a reminder, at any point, you can smash that like button if you agree with these selections, or just hit the old thumbs up if you want to show support for the show. Greatly appreciate that. All right, without further ado, let's get into the Power Five for Thursday, August 1st. We get it rolling with some MLB action. One, Detroit Tigers plus 140 versus the Kansas City Royals. Now, I know the Royals will arrive in the Motor City on a three-game win streak. But who do they just sweep? The sorry-ass White Sox, who have lost 17 straight games. And before yesterday's 10-3 win, the Royals actually needed to come from behind to win each of the first two games against the Sox. Meanwhile... What were the Tigers doing yesterday? Well, they were off. Just one of two teams that didn't have to play a game on Wednesday. So a big break with that off day between series. These AL Central rivals actually haven't met since May. That was another three-game sweep for the Royals, but it was at home. On the road, this team doesn't hit as well, gang. They dropped from the number one home batting average, 277, to 229 on the road. That's 24th. They're also 27th on the road in WRC+, 84. Tonight's starter, Seth Lugo, for the Royals and his 2.66 ERA, overrated. Lugo has given up five or more runs in two of his last three starts. He now has a 3.95 expected ERA. That's more than a full run higher than his actual ERA. Now, Keter Montero has allowed five or more runs in three straight starts for the Tigers. That's sort of the bugaboo here, but maybe an edge. But the Royals have never faced him before, while the Tigers, they got a look at Lugo back in that series in May. Nevertheless, I like Detroit to exact some revenge for that May sweep and take this series opener. Nice underdog price. Tigers plus 140 to start today's Power 5. Two, number two in today's Power 5. St. Louis Cardinals plus 100 versus the Chicago Cubs. Been waiting for this. Cubs rookie sensation Shota Imanaga. He's made 19 starts this season while facing 18 different opponents. The only team... To see him twice so far is the Mets. What happened in that second meeting? Well, Imanaga had the worst outing of his career. Gave up 10 runs in three innings. I have theorized for a while. You may remember me talking about it on the morning wager when Imanaga went into that second start against the Mets that things are not going to come as easily for him when these teams start seeing him for a second time, especially as the overall workload has increased. Pitch counts up. Uh, back on June 15th, the Cardinals, in the first meeting against Imanaga, they scored just one run on four hits against them, but I'm going to look for a lot more this time. That lineup has produced 18 runs, have the Cardinals, over the last two games. Largest margin of victory of the season yesterday. Sonny Gray on the mound for the Redbirds. I'd say he's still their best starter. I know he struggled a bit lately, but let's make it two for two on underdogs today in the Power Five with the Cardinals over the Cubs. Number three. Colorado Rockies, plus 110 versus the LA Angels. So Ryan Feltner's on the mound for the Rockies. I know what you're saying. BP, have you gone insane again? Ryan Feltner's not recorded a win since April 12th. His 18 consecutive starts without one. Longest active streak in MLB. But shh, he's getting better. 2.51 ERA in July for Feltner. Three or fewer earned runs allowed in six consecutive starts. And as bad as the Rockies have been overall and on the road, I'll concede that. What about the Angels? They stink. Rockies beat the Angels last night. Halos have the fourth worst run differential at home this season. Carson Fulmer, he spent he spent most of his season as a reliever. Give me the Rocks at a plus price. Three for three on underdogs today. Rockies plus 110. Now, Don't be shy about commenting with your favorite Major League Baseball bets for today. It's a small card, so maybe you just like to leave a comment or two about the Power Five as well. Of course, you probably don't need to comment to tell me how happy you are to have the NFL back, so let's get into it. Number four, Hall of Fame game, under 16 in the first half between the Texans and Bears. Now, the spread flipped with the news that rookie Caleb Williams and the rest of the Bears starters wouldn't be suiting up tonight. But it's not like we're going to be seeing C.J. Stroud and the top guys for the Texans either. That Bears current QB room, not a ton of experience that can go both ways. But 
I don't think either team wants to show much here. That's typically the case in the Hall of Fame game. I think it's going to be a very slow start. Both offenses focusing on the run and thus fewer possessions early under 16. I don't see three scores. It would actually need to be, you know, two touchdown, two of which would have to be a touchdown. So under 16, Bears Texans in the Power Five. How do we round out the Power Five in our return to Wager Talk TV? With a football future, Carolina over five and a half wins. Now, this would be a good time to let you know about the latest special offer going on at wagertalk.com. By two months, you get August free. So that's three months of service for the price of two. And if you buy right now, that means you get the entire NFL preseason as well as the two first two months of the college and NFL regular season plus the rest of MLB. And soccer, too, for me. Just head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of that deal now. All right. Is there a more Brian Power-esque win total for me to take than the worst team in the league last year to go over this year? Probably not. Were the Panthers good in 2024? Obviously not. They finished 2-15 and 15 straight up, never had a lead going into the fourth quarter, and rookie QB Bryce Young, quite frankly, looked terrible. But a lot of key indicators pointing up this year. This is a team that underperformed Pythagorean win expectation last season by more than a full game. They rid themselves of Frank Reich, which is a positive. Uh, Dave Canales, he is a major upgrade, in my opinion. Did wonders for Baker Mayfield last year in Tampa Bay. If you can resurrect Baker Mayfield, you can resurrect uh, Bryce Young. NFC South, speaking of Tampa Bay, bad division. The Panthers are facing a last place schedule. And check this out. Win totals for teams that won four or fewer games the previous year and now have a first-time head coach. Canales is. Those teams, 67% to the over since 2002 with their win totals. Only one way to go for Carolina. That is up. So over five and a half wins for the Panthers. Here's your Power 5 recap. One, Tigers plus 140 over the Royals. Two, Cardinals plus 100 over the Cubs. Three, Rockies minus 110 over the Angels. Four, in the Hall of Fame game, under 16 in the first half. Five, NFL season win total, Carolina over five and a half. You can find that minus 118 at DraftKings. Of course, shop around. Now, if you head over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp, you'll find my top play for the Hall of Fame game. It is on the side. You can get today's entire card, including MLB, for just $29. I'm coming off a nice win on the Astros team total over last night. Don't forget, I swept the Super Bowl back in February. Going to be a great, another great football season, guys. Don't forget to take advantage of that special offer. Buy two months, get August free. And if you already haven't done so, make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any of our exclusive sports betting content. And don't forget about the morning wager with me and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.